In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the best red zone passing concept in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day, and I'm going to be talking to you about an adjustment. You can do this out of any formation. If you want to do this out of 335 wide, you can. I'm going to show it to you today out of nickel normal because there's a specific coverage at nickel normal that I like that you can't get out of any other defense other than nickel normal and nickel wide nine in the San Francisco playbook. It's why I did an ebook on that playbook. If you want to get that full defensive ebook, it is in my Patreon membership, just like the rest of all of my material is. If you want to get all my ebooks and all my exclusive updates that we do every single week for our Patreon members, join the membership. It's down in the description. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for it. And you get over 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. You get hundreds of update videos. So I'd really encourage you if you haven't signed up for that yet, um, to take care of that and get signed up for the Patreon. Um, so I wanted to go over how to stop the doubles in sale money play in the red zone. So I'm just going to come out in a couple basic defenses, but the setup for this, honestly, you can literally just run it stock. There's, I mean, you can do a couple of things here, but basically this corner route is really, really good. Of course, as, I, as soon as I say that, I don't do the one thing I need to do to make it beat the cover too. But but anyways, it's it, and, and you can do this out of anything, right? So you don't have to have doubles in sale. If you have higher master, just put the corner out there. You'll see here when I put this hitch out here, that cloud will suck inside and it is a money route combo. There's a couple different ways that you can set this up, but the basic gist of the concept is we're throwing the ball to the circle receiver. Um, I don't know why the stock cloud is actually playing it way better than it ever has. Um, classic practice mode. But pretty much, like I said, I mean, they're just not going to be able to stop this. If you, and you've probably had this thrown at you for a two-point conversion, it's real simple. I mean, you just see it's wide open. I mean, it's it's so good. Um, you can do this against man. You can run this against, like if I'm in cover four quarters, you'll see this is probably one of my favorite coverages, but it does not really cover this. You can aggressive catch it, that kind of thing. So how do you stop this concept? It's actually really simple. Um, I'm going to give you a full setup for this defense just because um, I think that it's helpful to have the full picture. But we're going to utilize the cover three buzz, um, the cover three buzz, uh, not the cover three buzz match week, even though we can use that. Um, you could use this actually. I mean, it, you, you can use this if you want to. It's, it's fine. Um, you can either use this one or you can also use the cover three buzz, um, if I can find it. Cover three buzz match. Here we go. Cover three buzz match. So you see that it has this hook curl here and then it has the inside third. So the coverage is kind of like inverted, if you will. Now your user is going to be this hook curl. Okay. Really, really important. So literally all we're going to do is we're going to put the safety on the left side of the screen in an inside quarter. Now I like to go ahead and crash my line you know, and do that whole deal. So crash my line out so I can shoot the run. If I need to stand here to shoot it, you know, I will. But really where I'm going at the snap of the ball is I'm trying to lurk in the middle of the field. So I like to typically, if I can do this, I'll drop a three wreck on the right. And then if I want to, I could drop a vert hook on the other side. But what you'll see here is the inside quarter will basically match onto it and it will take this away. Now this is nothing new, by the way. I did a video on this. Um, I did a video on the same concept like months ago. Like we're talking like this was one of the first things that I talked about on defense this year. And it's been held up as one of the most important concepts against defending trips. It's not just for the red zone. This is a principle that you can do. And again, it's out of any coverage. But basically what you want to do, you can't do it out of match because there's already matching principles, obviously, in match. But what you can easily do is just inside quarter that guy right there. Now, you need somebody in the in the hook area, of course, but this is gonna basically take away a any corner route, like the number three receiver on a corner or crosser, which are the two primary things that he runs, right? So you if you have this setup that looks like this, you'll notice that this concept will completely bag it. You see that I can't throw that route unless it's Madden 22, obviously. I mean, it, it the guy guards it, right? I mean, sometimes he doesn't pick it off, but what are you going to do? It's Madden 22, right? So um, you can also, like I said, my favorite thing to do is vert hook this guy, three rec hook this guy. I'll try to show a little pressure, you know, if I want to show some pressure here, or if I want to show pressure here, I can I can always do that as well. So 
you know, that's my basic idea. But anyways, um, if you get a flood to the left, you'll see again, that quarter is right there. That's a click on pick. I know that he's caught it both times, but trust me, um, you know, in game, you're going to be able to click onto that. So the same basic principle applies inside the five. Um, and I'll show you it from another coverage. And again, this is what everybody runs for two point conversion plays. So let's say I'm in, um, let's say, let's say I'm running this concept and let's say that on defense, uh, I'm just going to go to like a cover one. So let's say you're in cover one whole double a gap style. Um, what you can actually do, which is interesting, I think is this defender right here. You could put him in an inside quarter. And then if you want to, you know, you could kind of bluff blitz this dude off the edge and man him up on the running back, man this guy up on the tight end, and then you could use her this guy if you wanted to kind of get that going on. It, you don't have to do all that. I'm just saying, um, just kind of crafting the coverage. But the inside quarter is the main thing, and you see that he will basically bag it every time. If he doesn't bag it, somebody else will. One of the best defenses, um, I think, for this is a cover two. And we're going to use her this safety, and then we're going to quarter that safety. So we have the clouds, we have the vertical hook coverage, and then we even have this middle read zone, which does defend, you know, posts and stuff like that really well. And again, if you watch that inside quarter, just lurks it every single time. Okay. So that is how you stop the best red zone passing concept in Madden 22. If you want to learn more about how to defend trips tied in, or if you want to learn more about how to run nickel normal, you just want to become a better player, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. We've got a ton of material in there. Breaking, we break in, We've literally broken down every coverage principle in this game in depth, and we've shown how to use it against pretty much the majority of what top players are running. Gun tight offset, tight slots, bunch, bunch tight in, U trips, trips tight in, spread, all of those meta offenses, we've got material on how you can defend it, how you can combat it in a game where defense is really hard. We also have a ton of offensive material as well. We've got a nice little spread ebook. We've got, uh, I think we've got probably, I think we have 12 ebooks on defense, maybe 14 ebooks on defense and eight or 10 on offense. So if you want to check that out, they're all available to you. You get all of them just by joining the membership. So it's only $10 to join. I think it's well worth the value. So if you want to sign up for it, there's a link in the description below. You can check it out. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this helped you and uh, we'll see you next time.